This is a 763 by 25 millimeter Mauser. It's also called the 30 Mauser Automatic. It was designed in 1896 in Germany and it was the original caliber chambered in the Mauser C96 service pistol and it was used in service in Germany, Finland, Spain, the Soviet Union, and China. Now I do not know of uh, any modern day firearms that are made in the 763 but I do know that in the late 1800s to the early or mid 1900s and possi possibly sometime after quite a few pistols including at least one 1911 and a few submachine guns were made in the 763 by 25 millimeter. But to this day there are still a few manufacturers that make the 763. One of those companies is Fiocchi but I really think that that it's produced far more in Europe than any other country because well I haven't seen any of these around and it did originate in Germany. But you might be surprised to learn that the 763 by 25 has a very close connection to the 9mm. They're both center fire, rimless, and virtually have the same measurement uh, from the base up to nearly the bottleneck part. But they are notably different in appearance as the 9x19 is slightly tapered with a bigger bullet and the 763 is, is a bottleneck and taller uh, measured in the metric system, the 763 by 25 has a case length of 25 millimeters, bullet diameter of 7.86 millimeters, and its overall length of nearly 35 millimeters. The only grains that I know that it's available in are between 85 and 88 grain, uh, traveling from 1,425 feet per second to 1,509 feet. And the only variation I know of is full metal jacket. Now, its younger sibling, the 765 by 21 millimeter Parabellum, devised in 1898, is the 9 millimeters parent and is remarkably similar in appearance to its older sibling, but a little shorter. Now, I do not know what other specific differences are or if one is interchangeable with the other, but it too is taller than the 9x19. Now even though this is not the 9mm parent round, this is a much closer and better comparison unlike the much larger rimmed 3030 I used in my 9mm chat video. Now I'm using this 3030 Winchester as an example give you a general idea on what the 765 by 21 millimeter looks like and how the 9 millimeter was born. In that video I explained that Georg Luger had cut away the bottleneck portion of the 765 by 21 and filled in the vacancy with what is now the 9 millimeter. Earlier I mentioned that both the 763 by 25 and the 765 by 21 had the same parent cartridge. That is the 765 by 25 Borchard. It was, it was designed in 1893 by Georg Luger and it was the first successful rimmed pistol cartridge and it was made specifically for Luger's uh, then partner Hugo Borchard who made who made the Borchard C93 semi-automatic pistol, which was the first pistol that was mass-produced, and it was also submitted to the military as a potential sidearm, but because it was so expensive to make and it was so awkward to operate, it was turned down, which in turn caused Luger to take that design and develop his own Luger pistol and eventually it led to the formation of the 9mm. Now I personally am amused by how one cartridge can be derived from one that is totally different and it could still be mass-produced well over a century later. 
really glad too that I could compare and contrast these two and just actually see physically how, how closely connected both these cartridges are. It's like, it's like pieces of history right here.